Marcus Rashford has accepted responsibility for his actions after being summoned for crisis talks with manager Eric Ten Hag amid growing concerns at Manchester United about his off-field issues. The club confirmed they held a disciplinary meeting with Rashford after the England forward had reported ill on Friday, having been pictured out in Belfast for the two nights before. Rashford subsequently missed Sunday's 4-2 win at Newport in the FA Cup. United would not reveal what action had been taken against Rashford, but the Sun newspaper claimed he was fined £650. 000, the equivalent of two weeks' wages, and dropped for the Newport tie. A waitress told the Sun that Rashford went on a 12-hour to killer drinking spree while in Belfast and had to be put to bed after passing out at 3 a.m. She claims the England international invited her on his night out at Thompson's Garage Club after she served him lunch. Sarah Adair, 30, told the Sun that she joined Rashford and his entourage on Thursday night after the United striker allegedly asked her where they could go that would stay open later than 3 a.m. That made it clear to me that he had already made his mind up that he wasn't going to training on Friday. He had no plans to go home that night, she claimed. The report adds that Rashford flew home to Manchester via private jet at 7am on Friday morning. Before reporting ill for training, Rashford arrived at United's Carrington Training HQ early on Monday morning with his brother and agent, Dwayne Maynard, arriving separately for the summit with Ten Hag and football director John Murto. Rashford missed training on both Friday and Saturday and therefore did not travel with the rest of the squad to Newport. On Sunday, he is said to have recovered and reported himself available to play and willing to travel to South Wales only to be instructed by Ten Hag to stay at Carrington and train. Marcus has taken responsibility for his actions, a club statement read. This has been dealt with as an internal disciplinary matter, which is now closed. Club sources confirmed that the England international is back in training and will be available for selection for United's trip to Wolves on Thursday. Ten Hag has said on Sunday that it was an internal matter and he would deal with Rashford. United's top scorer last season with 30 goals, Rashford's form has no stifed this term. The striker has found the net just four times and has routinely cut a dejected figure. There is understood to be some concern that there could be other issues at play. Rashford's mood and general demeanour could not contrast more starkly with last season when he was in the form of his life after overcoming a torrid previous teen months. The latest incident comes just three months after Rashford was reprimanded by Ten Hag for going out until the early hours after the 3-0 defeat by Manchester City in October, despite United having training that morning. United's troubled season has been beset by off-field issues. Ten Hag has had to deal with a number of disciplinary issues, including those involving Anthony and Jadon Sancho, who joined Borussia Dortmund on loan this month after being banished by the manager in September. The manager's handling of Rashford going forward will be interesting. Ten Hag drew criticism in some quarters over his handling of Sancho after the England forward took to social media to effectively accuse his manager of lying over the reasons for his absence against Arsenal earlier this season. Sancho ended up being exiled from the first team and forced to change and eat alone before his loan to Dortmund this month. Rashford wore a blank expression as he arrived at Carrington on Monday in his Lamborghini Urus with his brother Dwayne driving in separately. Murto is also understood to have been present during the talks with Ten Hagiai. Although Ten Hag will have wanted an explanation for the chronology around Rashford's trip to Belfast, United are thought to have been keen to understand what has been going on with the player. Rashford had trained on Wednesday before flying to Belfast, with Thursday a scheduled day off for United's players.
Images then emerged of Rashford allegedly at Thompson's Garage nightclub, which United suggested had been taken on Wednesday. The club have since declined to comment on claims the pictures were actually taken on Thursday. With a photograph of Rashford at Lavery's bar reportedly taken on Wednesday night. Rashford's visit to Belfast coincided with his friend and former United youth teammate Roshan Williams signing for the Northern Ireland club LAN who publicised his visit on social media.